Cereal, it's the world's oldest breakfast food and the one with the richest history. You might recall the Oregon Trail, Hmm. Settlers who were traveling on the Oregon Trail invented cereal in order to survive the treacherous journey. Had there not been cereal, they would have all been dead. Cereal is the lifeline of this country. Everybody knows it. If we lose cereal, we lose Capitol Hill. Honey bunches. Boom. They got life. Boom. Cocoa puff. Boom. Boom. I recently asked you guys on Instagram what the worst cereals that you've ever had is. Harris and I, we've both eaten a lot of cereal in our time on this planet. One could call us experts in the craft. Us cereal connoisseurs will be trying out the worst cereals in the world. This is a scientific study. And without further ado, let's munch on some breakfast goods. Munch on this crunch, babies. Behold, a glorious assembly of a cereals. Woo! We've got some American cereals and we've got some international cereals. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the American cereals and then move on to the international cereals. Work our way out. We're gonna rate these cereals from zero to five Saul Kripke's, the famous ethics philosopher. If the cereal's really terrible, it'll get a zero out of five Saul Kripke's. If the cereal's banging for the buck, it's gonna get five out of five Saul Kripke's. So let's do this thing, baby. Twinkies cereal. Sometimes science goes too far, and we're gonna figure that out. Science went too far the first time when they made regular Twinkies, and we realized that no one should eat them ever. On the back it says, the snack cake golden child is now a cereal. Ted, you're a snack cake child. You're focusing on snack cake. I'm focusing on the word usage of golden child. Because they're little babies for us. Ah, okay. uh, it's already too much. It's got a really intense smell. I'm scared. All right, yeah, it's good. An interesting balance between crunch and soft. I don't like that initial, the way it hits me on the tongue. The initial hit? Strange. Strange. I'm getting notes of shitty carnival candy. Honestly, is that sugar content that's keeping me coming back. I would say the crunch factor is pretty good. But I'm a little bit suspicious about the flavor. I'm gonna give this a 1.5 out of 5 Kripkes. You're being quite generous, Ted. I didn't really? know we were doing decimals. It's a 1 Kripke. <laughs> Kellogg's Unicorn Cereal. This yep. one I had to order. Get it shipped to, who orders cereal online and gets it shipped to their house? It's like, I'm hoping that this tastes like a real unicorn. What I'm thinking at least for the topping of this cereal is that somebody murdered a unicorn and they took its horn and they took a cheese grater and they sort of just went. <laughs> Yo, this got real dark real oh. quick. Cheers. I already like it more than the Twinkies. Mm -hmm. The loops give it a little bit more airiness to it. I'm getting a little bit of an Asian flavor. Umami? Yeah. As the legends tell, unicorns are from the northern parts of Thailand. Everyone knows that. I don't know. Well, keep up. Oh no, just a rip off Fruit Loop. It's pretty much Fruit Loop cereal, but they package it as a unicorn flavoring. It's advertising there on the box there to be unicorn horn shavings on there. And honestly, I didn't get that sort of keratin-like crunch that I would have expected from a horn. I don't feel eternal bliss. My life has stayed remotely the same, and for that I'm pissed. For false advertising, I'm gonna give that a 0.5 out of five Kripkes. Wow. I'm pissed. Incredible rating. In this moment, I strictly have to go with what's given to me. And that right there is the flavor, is the texture, is that sensation on the tongue. Solid 1.5 Crippy. Jolly Rancher cereal. Okay, uh. remember, Jolly Ranchers are sour, aren't they? Yeah. So what I want from this one is a sour flavor. Is that the way you really want to wake up? You want a sour crunch? Oh. Let's jump right into it. The smell test. Whoa. What we got, what we got going? Ooh. I don't know if this is placebo like or not. It does smell a little bit like Jolly Ranchers though. Jolly the Ranchers little... have a wrapping on them. Have you ever smelled a Jolly Rancher before though? With the wrapper. You're telling me that you take a Jolly Rancher and you put it up to your nose and you smell it? Man, we all have our convictions and some of us don't. That's deep. <laughs> They're smooth. All right. That's concerning. They might have some like, li like. Okay. Honestly. 
I'm kind of into this. What's weird about this cereal is that it kind of does taste like Jolly Ranchers. And that's a big problem, because I don't know what witchcraft is going on here, but they seem to have actually done it a little bit. The aftertaste is, you know, it settles. It settles into a Jolly Rancher aftertaste. Exactly. While the flavor is there and it is accurate, this isn't something I'm going to be coming back to all the time, you know? So for that reason, it's I'm going to okay. give this a two out of five Kripkes. You know, Ted, I'm right there with you. I'm, I'm going to have to say a, a two out of five Kripkes. This coating is a slippery when wet, and it's awfully concerning why that is so. Honey bun cereal. You're a big fan of honey buns, aren't you? I love my honey buns. So let's, let's try this out. Smells almost exactly the same as the Twinkie cereal. You were right on that one. Shape? Looks kind of like my grandmother. This looks like your grandmother? I'm just as concerned as you are. Is that a problem for the honey buns or for your grandma? It's hard to tell at this point. No yeah. more milk. Tastes like cookie crisp. The cinnamon creeps in on you at the end. You know what I like about this one? It's getting soft quickly. I'm gonna give this a three Kripkes. It must remain to my gut and it's telling me 2.5 Kripkes. <laughs> Wheaties. A lot of people don't like Wheaties. Alrighty, here we go. I feel like an athlete. I feel strong. I feel like Serena Williams. It tastes a little bit like bark. Sort of a soily aspect to the flavor. It's a little dirty. 10% dirt, 90% cornflakes. 2.5 Kripkes. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with you on that one. I think it, I'd say Wheaties would get us across the Oregon Trail. <laughs> This is an anime cereal. <laughs> anime cereal, also known as Shopkins Apple Strawberry Cutios. What's the best thing to put in a donut? Your teeth. It's not even a joke, it's a Q&A. That They're one's being serious here. It, they get brighter in the milk. I have a film over my tongue already. This cereal kind of pisses me off. Do tell me. 1.5 Kripkes. You're quick on the gun there. I'm also gonna say 1.5 Kripkes. Sorry, Shopkins. What even is Shopkins? A bitch company. <laughs> <laughs> Blueberry Eggo Waffles cereal. Who doesn't like Eggo? Uh, not racists. Obviously, that was the answer, Ted. Good texture. I'm having a good time with this. I'm having a good time. I, I don't have any gripes with this cereal. The crunch, good. The flavor, mm-mm, tasty. I'm gonna give it a 3.1 Kripkes. Three Kripkes. <laughs> Drumstick cereal, cone cereal pieces, ice cream flavored scoops, and cocoa nuggets. All right, here we go. Healthy scoop of all of them. Interesting. It's given me a mix of experiences, okay? I'm getting some golden grams, but I'm also getting some cocoa puffs. See, we all know that mixing cereal is a sacrilege, but this drumstick combination here is doing a pretty good job, I would say. They blend quite well together. Going against the grain that has been set in the industry a little bit. Everybody knows that the cereal industry is cutthroat. Okay. However, I'm a bit disappointed in the ice cream flavored scoops having little to no flavor. I'm gonna give it a 2.8 Kripkes. And I'm a man chocolate, right? So, solid 3.5 Kripkes. We all know the original Captain Crunch. <laughs> Sweep the nation with his big mustache and his stupid hat. Now you've got Cotton Candy Captain Crunch. Why is the captain running a carnival? That remains to be seen. Potentially money laundering scheme? Let's jump right into it. Awesome. I'm confused. I'm confused too. It's got some cotton candy to it, but like- Two Kripkes. I'm gonna give it like a one nine Kripkes. Grape nuts oh, cereal. God. You may remember grape nuts from when I made meatloaf. It works as a freaking great breadcrumbs in recipes, but how does it perform as a cereal? Grape nuts cereal just sinks to the bottom of the bowl. It has little to no buoyancy to it. It is literally just a bunch of crumbs in a box. It's like chewing gravel. The mouth feel is not a feel at all, it's a fight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, honestly, I feel like I'm eating kibble. Dude, this is just torture. And there's an aftertaste with them too. It's like, what's going on there? What's up? What? Hello, aftertaste. Get out of my face, aftertaste. Five out of five cookies. No! 2.5 Kripkes. We can give it like a 1.5 Kripkes. The quality of life is so low. <laughs> 
Baby shark cereal. Uh, is this supposed to taste like a baby shark? What about it is baby shark, really? Overall, pretty confused. It has a, a bio section for each of the, of the sharks talked about in the song, such as William, baby shark's best friend. I did not know that there was lore. Here we go. This is just a unicorn cereal all over again. Damn this fucking cereal. I'm giving this a fucking 0.5 out of five Kripkeys. One Kripke. Oops, all berries. Here's the thing. I just thought it was funny because it said, oops, all berries, oops. as if there's an implied mistake here. Damn. But as a form of protest, we will also not be eating the cereal. Because fuck the berries! You ever been to the grocery store and you saw that weird religious bread? Ezekiel bread. It's the bread that is also doubling as a Bible. They made a cereal. I got this imported from wherever the fuck, fucking the middle of Wyoming. This biblical cereal is truly the staff of life. You're making a lot of truth claims out here. Here we go. What does your Bible smell like, Ted? This is just like bigger grape nuts. I'm ready to repent with this cereal. Mm. Oh God. I like it more than the grape nuts. No, I like it worse than the grape nuts. It's like eating a handful of grain. I'm gonna give this one a .8 Kripkees. Flag on the field, sir. There was no foul. The only foul was to God, Ted. Jeez. .8, what are you talking about? This is at least a 1.4. Three Kripkees. Three, Three Kripkees? Oh, I'll suck up to God. That's you. Banana cream frosted flakes. Bam. I ordered this online for $20. I have never seen anything like this. Cause you dumb. Smells like banana. You need to do more than that. Fuck, no. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it's supposed to be? Oh no. Oh no, what have they done? What is this? Oh, you know what I'm tasting right now? What? I'm tasting a banana Laffy Taffy aftertaste on Frosted Flakes. That's disgusting. This is a Laffy Taffy, but ain't nobody laughing here. This is just This sad. is This is the bastard child of Willy Wonka and Tony the Tiger. This is a 0.5 Kripkees. A solid 1.5 Kripkees. <laughs> Sour Patch Kids cereal. Definitely not really. <laughs> About the same size as real Sour Patch Kids. They literally. What the fuck? Ro raggy. That smells like Sour Patch Kids, kind of. These are like Sour Patch Kids, but they're way smaller. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Cut no it. way! Cut it! No way! Uh-uh. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. No. They dead ass did that. They literally put sour sugar on the fucking cereal. I can't believe that they actually did that. This is probably going to be the closest thing to actually eating Sour Patch Kids as a cereal. That's so bad. That's the worst cereal I've ever had. Zero, zero Kripkees. And they yeah. thought it would work. This cereal gets a zero out of five Kripkees. The literal definition of a zero out of five Kripkees. I can't believe that they actually went ahead and made a sour cereal. Are they fucking stupid? No wonder I needed to order this. From Canada, banana bread shreddies. I don't really know what to expect with this. We had a banana thing earlier and it was jack shit. Uh-uh, uh-uh, oh no. Is this really as bad as I think it is? It's just so banana -y. For no reason. Ah, no, eh, I can't. No. I can't, it's too bad. You know what the problem is? All these cereals are trying to be something else. <laughs> And that's the problem with cereal nowadays. They're always, they're, they're a bunch of fucking posers. It kind of tastes like licorice. Really, really bad cereal. Just not, not good at all. Really terrible, I gotta say. All the bad ones came at the end. They're all stacked at the Four, end. Four, maybe even five Kripkees. 
Why do you just lie? Why are you lying? What are you talking about? One whole Kripke. I'm gonna give it a point two Kripkes. I forget what anything good tastes like anymore. Australians all at us rejoice for we are young and free. From Australia, Wheat Bix. From at least 99% Australian ingredients. It looks like a big cracker. No, but you can see that it's in a bowl with milk. Yeah, but look how big that shit is. It says Aussie kids are Wheat Bix kids. What the fuck? Uh-huh. Crackers. Crackers. Two biscuits. Two whole biscuits, baby. It does look like paper mache. I think we need to break it up maybe with our spoon. It really absorbs the milk. It tastes like Wheaties, but it's just like more shredded. It's just got some sort of musty general taste and presence though. I'd give it a two and a half. For what's going on here, if I'm trying to have like a semi-healthy breakfast, I'd give it a two and a half. It's just not cereal. Five out of five Kripke's. I mean, looking back, I'd probably say Honey Bun, Eggo, and Wheaties. The Cinnabon, the Eggo, <laughs> and then drumstick for me. All right, thank you guys so much for joining us on this journey of tasting different cereals. I hope you learned something about what cereals to avoid, specifically Sour Patch Kids cereal, that shit is rank. Our ratings are 100% true. You can try to argue in the comments with them, but I mean, we're kind of experts, so fuck off. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, make sure to like the video, and follow me on all the other social medias I'm on. Don't, do please, not. Please, please, please. Ah, fine. Ah!